Adding a JavaScript widget can make a WordPress site more interactive and engaging. The possibilities are endless, from stock quotes to calculators or chat rooms. In this video, we are adding a chessboard to a WordPress site using two different methods. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Let's get started. First, we are going to try out the library in our standalone HTML, and then we are going to transfer the code to our WordPress installation. So let's create a new folder here. Let's call it chess. And this is the library that we are going to use. It's called chessboard.js. And we can see it's a fully fledged uh, chessboard. We can actually play games with it. Okay, so we go to the download and we download the latest version 100 to our directory. At the bottom, it says that jQuery is a required dependency and must be loaded on our web page first. So we go to their website and download uh, jQuery. The same location. Okay, next we need to uncompress the, um, the library. So if we look inside, there are some CSS, there are some images of the chess pieces, and the actual JavaScript code. We're also going to move the jQuery code to JS to have everything in one place. And let's call this directory assets. It's a common naming convention. Next, we are going to open Visual Studio Code in the chess directory and create a basic index.html file. For now, something very simple to make sure everything works. So we can see it here. OK, good. Next, we are going to import the uh, CSS and the JavaScript for the library and its dependency jQuery. So first the CSS. So an asset CSS, uh, either one works, but we're going to do the minimized one. And then script type equal text JavaScript and source for first we need to import jQuery so from assets JS jQuery okay next we are importing the actual chessboard library source equals assets JS, uh, the minimized version again. So this needs to be into head. Okay. Next, we are going to create a, a div that will be the container for the chessboard. So if we look into in, in the examples uh, on their page, chessboard.js, what we need to do is have a div called board. They recommend the width of 400 pixels. And then we are going to add code that replaces this div with the, the actual chessboard. So let's create a div, div id board. And this will be our board. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we're missing this one here. Okay, good. Now we are replacing this div with the actual chessboard. 
So we go to their documentation. We actually want this start position. So we need to create the chessboard with the second argument start. We, we are adding a new uh, script, JavaScript. Text JavaScript. And um, so we are using the jQuery method document ready, which means once the page has rendered, we are going to run this custom code. And in here, we are adding an arrow function, which is the code that they have here. Okay, so in our case, the name of our div is called board. Okay, let's try it out, see what happens. Okay, so first we see that it's too big because we forgot to set the width of the div. Four hundred pixels. St style. Okay. And now we see that the chess pieces don't load. And if we look in the developer tools, we'll see that. This is because um, it's looking in the wrong place for the images. So in here we can, inside the config, we are going to configure this uh, chess team string. It's looking for them in default location and the images are in a different place in our case. So the images are actually inside assets image. Assets image. Then chess pieces Wikipedia. Wikipedia. So now we pass instead of start we pass this config in here. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, now we, we cannot move the pieces, but we can add the, um, we can add the draggable property. Let's see. So draggable true in here. Draggable true. And this should make the chess pieces draggable. Now we are transferring the chessboard to our WordPress installation. So my WordPress installation is on, on localhost. This is the port I chose for Apache and it's under this subpath WordPress. So it's just the standard uh, theme and we are going to place it at the bottom of the page. First, we move the assets directory to our WordPress installation. So we're going to copy it. This is my Apache root and this is the subpath. We can see here WordPress includes and all the other directories. So we, we're going to paste it here. If your WordPress installation is hosted, you will copy it with the file with an FTP client such as FileZilla. First, we need to create the placeholder for our chessboard at the bottom of this page. So we go to edit page, it opens up the Gutenberg editor. And here at the bottom, we will add a custom HTML block. And it will be a div with the ID of board and um, style with uh, 400 pixels. Close it. This is the exact same div that we, we used in this uh, standalone HTML file. We update the file. Okay, let's see. Actually, we, we won't see it only with inspect. But um, now we are ready to try our first method of adding JavaScript. So it will be this plugin called insert insert headers and footers insert her headers and footers by uh, WordPress beginner 
So we are going to install it and activate it. And now when we go to tool, when we go to settings, we see that we will see the plugin here. So what it does, it allows us to add uh, to add the JavaScript and CSS globally on the entire installation. So we are just we are just going to transfer th these um, imports into into the scripts header. Let's make sure they are indented correctly. And this script will be in the footer. Scripts in the footer. So whenever we have JavaScript that executes code, whenever possible, we should add it in the footer because that doesn't block the rendering of the page. We are saving this and now going uh, back to our website and we can see the chessboard over here. The problem, the problem with this method is that the JavaScript library will be added to all the pages. So although we have this um, this component only on the home page, if we go, let's say, to the contact page, and we and we do um, inspect, if we search here for chess, we will see that the Chessboard JS was also imported here, and at the bottom we will see that. Um, let's search for a document. The, the code we we added, yeah, we see that we are trying to replace the div for the chessboard on every page, which is not not ideal. Second method doesn't have this problem as it allows us to control which pages or blog posts our code is loaded on. So let's go to the admin panel and add a new plugin called Code Snippets. We are going to install it and activate it. So this plugin lets us add PHP code in general, not only JavaScript and CSS. It is very versatile. If we look here in this section um, that was added by the plugin, we see it's already pre-populated with some examples. So we are going to clone this example JavaScript snippet and edit it. Let's rename it at chessboard. So normally we if we just po if we just paste our JavaScript in here, it will be added to all the pages on our WordPress, but we only want to add it on our front page. So for this, we are going to use this function called is front page. We go to the WordPress developer reference. It says determines whether the um, query is for the front page. There are there are similar functions for checking if in any any page on the website the function is called is page so the page parameter is specified we can specify the page id string so we would we would get the um, we would get the page id if we go here and enter a page we see it here so the page id would be 5 and the function for blog posts is called is single. Works for any post type except attachments and pages. So it determines whether the query is for an existing single post. And again, we need to specify an ID. So if we go, if we go to posts and enter a post, we will see the post ID in here. So this will be post ID one. Okay, in our case, we want is front page. So we check if is front page, then we add the, um, the script. And now we need to close the, we need to close the if block as well. And now, now we need to, add a similar section for our footer. 
so we added to the hook called WP footer again if it's front page we add the script and now we just transfer over our our code so we want these three things in the header and this in the footer it needs to be inside the script block okay the snippet needs to run everywhere and save changes and activate let's try it we see we see the chessboard here at the bottom as as expected and if we go to any other page let's say about and do view page source we shouldn't see the chess being imported so yeah we cannot find anything or the document the jQuery method that we added that's it for today I will link the source code in the description below you can also find my business website in case you need help with your WordPress project see you next time